Hello everybody and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac, Afterbirth Plus. In the previous episode, we had the fastest, the quickest little hairball run I've ever done seen. This episode, we're going to be going in as... Let's have a look, see... What can we do? What can we do? Wait, have we not done the negative path as Eden? Apparently we haven't. Okay, um... Because that's the negative path, isn't it? Okay, let's, let's do that then. Let's do hard mode negative path as Eden. I thought I'd already done that, but obviously not. We've started with anemia, and we've also started with uh, telekinesis. I do quite like telekinesis. Uh, we've also got the baby bender, the baby spoon bender thing. Um, all of our familiars gain homing. Actually really saved us in our last run, really made it a lot easier. Also, our stats are banging. Wow, our stats are good. We have way more damage than normal at 4.26, little bit higher speed and faster fire rate. Um, a little bit lower luck and a little bit lower shot speed. But everything else is like, wow, it's good. It's real good. But basically what telekinesis does is when things shoot at us, we can stop the tears in midair and direct them back at enemies. It's very useful. I did just notice as well, there's a spirit heart here that I didn't get. There you go. I missed out on that. Actually, I'll go back this way and see if I can get our item room as well. I have a feeling it'll be through here, but, oh, it didn't work. Maybe they have to be coming right at us. Can't exactly remember how this works. It's been a really long time since I used it. In fact, it's not even that, it's just, uh, just I've only used it a few times. Uh, I am properly using the Ipecac mod now. I have not disabled any features this time around because it seems that me disabling some features was interrupting some of the way the mod loaded and incorrectly uh, loading the mod and not giving us the right items, functionality and things like that. So this time around, even though there's a few features that I that I'm not particularly a big fan of in the in the mod, the mod as a whole is brilliant. It's well worth it. So I'm gonna just stick with it. Um, I have tried in the options menu turning things off, but the options menu is still a working progress, and I couldn't seem to uh, figure out what was doing wrong in there. But something wasn't going quite right. Um, okay, that kind of works. So I have left some enemies on and some of the other features on that I normally would turn off. But it's not a big issue exactly. Um, got the girdlings. Unfortunately, telekinesis doesn't do much against these guys, really. Really doesn't do much at all, but we should be able to kill them relatively quick anyways here. Just got to watch out for that creep. The creep is the worst. Because I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. There you go. We got this one. We got it. No. Oh, my God. Ah. Ah. Oh my god, we've got tentacles. Tentacles are pretty good. Honestly, the main reason I like them, I think they're a little overpowered at the minute. The tentacles that are spawned have a little bit too much health, in my opinion. But I really like them because the activate on my active item use, and my active item is very easy to activate right now. Um, what I'm going to do right now is push that to here. That to here. And I will just take GB Bug. Be on our way. GB Bug is pretty worthless, really. Doesn't come in handy that often, but we'll keep it around. And once we get a bomb, we can go in that and get a Tinted Rock and two uh, Stone Chests, which would be really nice. Really nice indeed. Wow. That just killed a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to use it to constantly spawn these tentacles. It's going to be well overpowered. It's going to be great. Look at that. Because you get them on room entry sometimes. You get them on active item usage. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very tentacle heavy run. I assure you that now. I assure you that now. Um, We cannot do that. We do have a bomb now, though. So let's go back into our item room and get bombing. I'm going to end up pressing R to bomb all the time because I've been playing loads of Undermine recently. Very good room. Very good room indeed. Gives us a bunch of other bombs. Was that a stone chest down there as well, or was I mistaken? I don't think it was, was it? No. I, I will do this, though. I think it is worth it. And I'm just going to spam the hell out of this hand and get these everywhere. Unfortunately, I can't really direct where they go, so it's a little hard to uh, make them run into the tentacles, but tentacles just kill everything in one hit, so... Don't have to worry about that. And now we have enough money to make the shop worthwhile. And I'm pretty sure there's, yeah, there's another tainted rock here. So we can bomb that. Wow. Very, very good start here. Very good start indeed. We have a combo that is incredibly lethal. Um, or albeit a little bit timed because we have to make things run into the tentacles. But 
still very deadly nonetheless. Wow, 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 wow. Good active item, which actually helps out normally anyways. Many, many tinted rocks in HP. Wow, so many tinted rocks in HP right now. It's kind of getting insane. Uh, we have a lot of money as well, and a good amount of consumables too, because of the two stone chests. It's just like, could you ask for much better of a start? If you if you dive over into this, yeah, you're, you're gonna say that's not gonna it's not gonna go well for you, dude. It's not gonna go. So you can direct them somewhat, just not a lot. Haha. -ha. There's still one up here, isn't there? No, he died. Where are you? I see you, buddy. Shaking that ass. That dippy, dippy ass. Uh, unfortunately, nothing here to buy, so I will just donate. We do need to get some donating done. Take a sip from my tango while we do that. Mama Mega isn't too useful for us, apart from on the later floors. I don't really have to worry about that too much. Step away, spider. You are unwanted in this place. Unwanted and unneeded. Dare you to walk into me, boy. Dare you to do it. Dare ya. I don't know how we charmed that guy. I think GB Bug actually charmed that guy for us. Okay, we've got some, some squirt poops. Squirties. Little squirties. Wow. That, that tentacle is glitching out. That tentacle is not having a good time. It is not having a ball. Good, good. Easy bangers on all of those. We got pin again. Really? <laughs> See, this is what I mean. The tentacles, they're just a little bit too strong in my opinion. Just a little bit too strong. Um, I feel like they, um, they kind of slap. I do want Guppy's head for the precedent, but I'm going to take telekinesis with me because it's too powerful. It's just too powerful to give up. As you can see, we've got the um, the evil and faith meter up there. I do normally have that disabled, but we'll leave it on for now. It's fine. But yeah, this this just slaps supreme, so I can't be getting rid of this. We've got some Bernie boys here, look. What's this Bernie guy doing? Come on. Come for me. I dare you. It's the way as well that enemies don't register them. And so, with with that comes a lot of the time, the enemies just run directly into them with literally no regard for their life. And that one just spawned on top of that guy. Nice. Okay, and Telekinesis is holding some shots. There you go, look, I held the shot there. We should be spamming Telekinesis like nobody's business. For many reasons. So, when you press the active item, you'll see there's a little bar that comes up on, on the actual active item's um, recharge bar. For that amount of time, it's when we collect shots. I, I really hate these enemies. They're really overpowered. Just die. There you go. There you go. They're really overpowered. A bit too strong. And we got more of them, of course. See, look, I caught a bunch of, a bunch of shots there. And there's ghost ones as well, apparently. Just keep spawning these and hope everything dies. That's the that's the British way. Apparently. According to me. You've been shrunk somehow by GB bug, I think. Wow. <laughs> no no no. No no no. Jump into these, come on. There you go. But yeah, being able to hold all these bullets is is also well, tears should I say. It's been very helpful. Why? Is there so many of these enemies? Thank God that one died so quick. Give me a damage up now as well. That'd be really nice. Ooh, we got Bumber. Bumber early is very, very good. I do like to see it. I'll tell you what. I like to see a daily Bumber. I really do. I really do like an early Bumber. Just do it. There you go. Thank you. You have been destroyed. Very much destroy it, Todd. That's the thing as well, bosses are going to get demolished by these tentacles too. It's just a, a very, very strong combo, this really, isn't it? Ow! He hit me with contact, though, at least not with the tears, because I collected them all around me. Them two tentacles spawned a bit of a bit of a weird intersection there. No thank you. Not with your tears. Don't think so. It, it's really, really, telekinesis is really, really strong. Ooh, we unlocked something. Nice. 
Right, these these are going to get destroyed quite quickly because he charges into them at lightning speed. Oh, shit. I kind of forgot I did that. We're running out of health quite quickly here. Quite quickly indeed. Come on, then. Charge at me. You know you want to. Come down here. There you go. There you go, buddy. Don't laser beam me again. Wow, just, just, just move into the field of shit. We got one full heart container, extra speed and extra damage. I can definitely get behind that. And we got Judas's Shadow, seven seals, nothing I really want there. Let's keep on moving on. Getting the heart container there was very valuable. Obviously, the damage upgrade is also very nice as well. I did definitely want a damage upgrade, so I'm happy to see that. Right, right, right. There you go. None of you can hit me. None of you can hit me. Go away, bloody hole bobbers. You can't catch me now, boy. Good, good. We need to be taking pills, considering we have a, a more pills active item. Not active item, sorry. Uh, trinket. We should really be taking those pills. Well, that cleared them up. Hey, beggar. How you doing, boy? There's a little bit of tactics behind this. Somewhat. Hide behind the, uh, the tentacles and hope for the best. Hide behind the tentacles and hope for the best. Got ourselves our item room here. Please be something tickety boo tasty. Hourglass is not either of the things that I just said. It's, in fact, terrible and useless. Thank you. A lot of useless items in this game, sadly. Also, no coins for Bumbo yet, either. Stop trying to hit me. Oh my god. No black heart, either. The world card. Leave that on the next floor, I think. This guy might do his green splodge at me. He did. <laughs> there you go, Bumbo. There's your first coin. Oh, there's a, there's a key. What is this? Cool. It's like a keykin, but in this game. Also, them things are the worst. They're spawning many, many of the explodey guys. Many, many of them. Oh my god. Just lost some deal with the devil president here. This could be a death, you know. This could be an early death. It's not going so hot so far. It's really not. This is a really powerful build, but the HP just... It just isn't coming, and we're not really able to keep much of it either. Oh, that one's gone all shadowy. I don't know what happened with that one. He's a shadow creature. We're just just flood an area of the map so they can't pop up there. That's how we do this. Got it. Stop trying to whip me. Don't whip your hair back and forward on me. Goddamn, sometimes it just spawns on the enemy and decimates them. It's great. Absolutely great. Another key. Probably go back to that double key room, shouldn't we? But that's so far away. It's so far away. Oh my god, thank you, Telekinesis. You've saved me greatly. These boys are whipping up a storm. Thank you for dropping HP. Oh my god. Stop. Get some help. I can't make them pop up. Why won't you die? You bastard. Why wouldn't you die? Right, what the hell have we got here? Let's find out, shall we? Let's go shoot some enemies and see what happens. This is some sort of tech weirdness. And we've got a guppy item as well. Also, our stats are pretty damn awful. Oh, okay, I know what this is. This is the one that directs shots towards enemies. Or is it? Maybe not. What, why is this room a thing? St stop popping up in the middle. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm not having that. There you go. We'll go with this one. We got the nail, which is, of course, brilliant. Got one toothy bastard. Then we got this thing. Um, Stigmata, which is HP and damage. So I'm very happy about that. This is a much better run. The nail pretty much guarantees we're going to get fairly far. 
Hopefully it's the last floor at least. That would be nice. That would be very, very nice indeed. Chop them up now, y'all. Chop them up. Ah. Give me that key, boy. But yeah, we can go a little bit faster now because we've got the, uh, the higher damage and everything. Of course, we had high damage on the on the last run, but it didn't really improve. The nails should hopefully help us out here. Um, and we get 20% um, speed multiplier, extra speed. Touching enemies apparently slows them. The enemies can spread the slowness. Okay. It's kind of annoying to get lower speed when our speed is already low, but do you know what? That sounds pretty decent. Spreading slowness to other enemies seems useful. Going fast is kind of out of the equation now, though. Because we have 0 0.61 speed. That is not the uh, epitome of going fast. Not really at all. I think we get a damage boost from the nail when we use it. So we might as well use it in here. Yeah, we do get 1.1. And we get a, a speed down as well. Oh my god. So it's kind of a risk for using combat. Because we do get quite a big speed down. But we get to stomp on rocks. So we can open up tinted rocks with it. Got to remember that. I've probably already seen one and missed it. But... We can do that in the future, so we've got to remember that. Take him down. We got a ball of bandages. That could be quite useful a little bit later on, haha. Another sip of my tango. Another sip of my tango. Love myself some tango. It is a glorious drink. A glorious, glorious drink. Right, let's take these guys out. Oh my god. How did I not get hit there? Wow. I don't know what I was thinking there, but... It somehow works. It somehow works. Oh my god, the fly that he's got protecting him. He's doing such a great job. Stop it. There you go. Wow. It was fully like circling him, protecting him for every shot there. There you go. And we got our item room straight away here. Bomb, lovely. Please be a good speed upgrade. That'd be just wonderful. It's wait what? Which isn't perfect, but... Wait, what's pretty terrible, actually. For now, at least. Like, for this run is what I mean. Like, it's normally pretty good, but... We've got a much, 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 much better item. It gives us a damage upgrade on a room and a soul heart. And crushing rocks. It's just, like, all around much better. A lock upgrade there is very nice. I've already got a little bit higher than normal look, so that's nice to have. Oh, okay, we can slow down the stonies. That's nice to know. And I can spread it to other enemies as well, apparently. But it's a great room to use this on, because we get the soul heart, and we get to destroy a tinted rock for free. Which is always nice. Got him, got him, got him. That would also be a good room to use it. Especially considering there's a battery in there. In fact, it would have been a better room to use it. So we've got an extra soul heart. I will go back and uh, try and get two more charges. I should be able to get it off of these last few rooms. Ow. Oh my god. Can somebody tell me why I'm such a massive retard? Because now I've gone back to do this and do the extra rooms for the extra stuff. And it has effectively killed me. Well, no, it hasn't killed me. But it's I've lowered my HP beyond the point where... I would have been if I just left it. <laughs> so that's not really great. We've got a small rock. Even more speed down. Oh my god, we're the slowest boy on the planet. Oh, this is awful. The slowest of boys. What is a man to do when they're this slow? We do have really good damage though, so... I can't complain too much about that. I can't complain too much about that, Captain. Can't he complain too much about that. Okay, we're gonna have one room to go. So we'll go we'll go defeat our boss and then come back. And get the extra spirit heart. But my god. This is some slow ass movement speed. God damn. You fuck with my speed so much, game. You fuck with it. Oh no, there's a room here. I did not even realise. My bad. Hmm, I still... In my opinion, them enemies, them spider flying ones. This is a note for the dev, by the way. 
Them flying ones should not be able to replace normal flies. They are way too strong to be able to replace normal flies. Because that room was definitely intended to have just normal flies, I'm sure of it. And that is just too strong. Them enemies, are, like, they do a lot. And can really fuck up your day. Right, and we go to here. Even more speed down. Really not a good room to get even more speed down on. Oh my god, can you not, guys? Can you not, guys? Got him with a bomb. Nice, nice, nice. There you go. Feel the devil. What is this? Oh, I actually quite like that. Revenge from above is quite nice. Um, goat head is obvious. Okay, actually. This is a pretty... This is a pretty obvious one. So, we take nine lives... And that gives us goat head for, for... Well, it gives us nine lives for free more, more than anything. Basically, now we get a deal with the devil every single floor. It's very, very useful. Gives us a much higher chance of finding uh, an item that's going to break the whole run wide open. Much higher chance indeed. Um, I'm going to be a risky bisky and I'm going to yera this room. I'm going to come back to this room after. It, that might not end up being worth it, but we're not going to the... Um, there you go, got, got a key there. We're not going to be going down to um, the, sorry, up to the cathedral, we're going down. So that means that uh, it's more valuable to use it now because we don't really need to double our chests. Okay, we just got like four dimes, so it's already more than paid off. That was insane, having a chest with two dimes in it is like ridiculously rare. I don't think I've literally ever had that in my 700, 800 hours of this game. I don't think I've ever had two dimes from a single chest. Because whenever you yera a chest, it, it makes a duplicate of the chest you yera with its contents. Not just um, not just a new golden chest with anything in it. It's a new golden chest with the same stuff in it. Uh, apart from if it's an item, obviously, then it um, becomes a different item. A bunch of bombs there. We got a bit of shit there. Please be items. No. Other oh, we we... We got a heck ton of money there. A heck ton of money. That was probably pretty damn worth it. I, I'm going to say that was pretty damn worth it. Just the 40 cents alone that we got from those um, thingies was, was good enough. Ah. They're going for it. Stop spawning babies. Stop it. Get some help. No. I will take no because I'm sticking with the nail. No is very good. It basically means that we're not going to find, um... Step away, you. We're not going to find any more active items, or at least very little active items, uh, which is very helpful. Um, I will buy a luck upgrade pill, you know. I will. Um, so we'll buy that. And we'll do some bombing of this machine. Yep, that's definitely great. I can't remember what... It doesn't tell us what those cards are, so I can't really check with that. But that's good as well. Um... Speed up and spike immediately. We need the speed up. We, we need the speed up. Um, PhD isn't that much better. That's very good. Would have been good to get that before we opened the chest, actually. Because we would have got even more. That is insane. Insanely good. Because now we get two soul hearts with every active item use. That is is mental how good that is. This is a this is a run that I've quickly become very much in love with. Hey, excuse me. I will open this. Rerolls all pickups. Let's let's try doing this. We got two bombs rather than two key two pennies. Not that much ben more beneficial. I will open that. Oh, we're spike immune. That's so good. Right, uh, shop. Did you have anything else that we might want? Let's find out. PhD again. No, thank you. BFF. It's not that good now, but it could be very good in the future, so I will buy it. I've also got this card. Two hearts. Meh. Not that useful for us. Still, though, this is a good run. It's going well. I'm enjoying it. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm having fun. It's going very well.
Got him. My pennies. So yeah, every single drop that we get will be doubled because of Humbling Bundle. Very, very useful. Got that guy. No, thank you. I think my no trinket is going to be the trinket that we stick with for the rest of this run. Unless I get later on and find like Caved Horn or Cancer for the extra damage or fire rate up. Dunn's cap is a bit of a meme. A bit of a meme, gonna say that. Probably won't take Dunn's cap. Rotten Baby, however, I will take. We do have BFF as well, so... I think he gains extra power with BFF. I'm not 100% sure how he works with BFF. Either way, it's good to have him. Very good timing on that, because we'll be able to bomb through there. Open that up. Hero font card, gives another two soul hearts. Love it, love it, love it. Very, very good. Right, good, good, good. Take out these guys, what do we get here? A battery, very useful, we use that on the boss. Our health is going to be just unstoppably good. It's going to be deal the devil trading all day long with Goathead. That's like the best thing about this, like the fact that we've got Goathead with all this. This means that we can trade away for deal the devils all day long. All day long. And because we're trading in only soul hearts now, it's even better. What have you got for us? Um, minus two heart containers. Lower HP equals more tears. Higher HP equals higher damage. How does that work with soul hearts? Let's try it out. Lowers our damage by a decent amount, but increases our tier rate by a lot. We got two burn hearts from that. I might just get rid of the burn hearts. Like, on purpose, because they fill up slots that we don't need to be filled up. So, yeah, I'm probably going to lose those on purpose. We, we can't lose our deal the devil, so... Let's just do it. Let's just get rid of them. I don't need them. I just need to look... Hmm. Hmm. That just seemed to lower our stats a whole hell of a lot. I hope getting the soul hearts will fix that, but I don't think it will. Yeah, well that, that just seemed to lower our stats a whole hell of a lot. Maybe I should have kept those. <laughs> Wowee. The fire is good, though. If we can get some damage ups, it's going to be great. Oh no, our damage does go up. Cool. If we get to max HP, we get higher damage. And I would very much like that. But the fire rate, oh my god, it's intense. We've broken tier cap by quite a bit here. I'm really not liking not being able to see where I'm going, though. That is a bummer. That is a true bummer. Let's go through this way, I guess. There you go. Up to maximum damage for us now at this point. Definitely better damage than we were doing before just because of the insane fire rate. Helps as well if we get any tier effects because it triggers them more often. Which is always nice. Goddamn worm. Come back here. You little shrimp. You little leech. There's our boss. We haven't found our item room yet, so there's no point leaving now. Our speed is unbearably low, though. Unbearably low. Our stats seem to be changing, like, between rooms sometimes. Don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, we definitely need a damage up now, though. Could definitely easily come from my next deal, the devil, so that's fine. Strength card. Keep going this way. There it is. Item room. Very, very worth it. I was really, really thinking, guys, that Lost Fly was the, the item to win our run. And I was like, right, in my head, I was like, right, we have to go back for Lost Fly. We, we simply cannot do without it. It's the most important and most valuable item in the entire run. I have to get it. So I went back for it. It's just obvious. Look at that. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. This boy's way too strong. Look at look, how You see how many shots that guy took? Insane. Too strong. Too strong this time. Cramp arena. 
Aren't you a sight for shit eyes? Got him. Oh, lump of coal. Yep. Yes, please. Our range is pretty low right now, but don't worry about that. That's for me to worry about. Not you. Not you. Let's get these taken care of. We do have our ice item ready to use, but obviously I want to save it for when we need the HP. Not no point using it just to smash rocks or just for the damage, really. You little tricky bastard. You got around with that, didn't you? Let's open this up. This is our shop. Okay, so yeah, we'll definitely do that then. Because if we're saving if we're saving charges, we might be able to we might as well be able to double charge our active item. Because then we've basically got four... Once we've cleared 12 rooms, which are, are like a few big rooms as well, we've basically got four spirit hearts saved up and ready to go whenever we want, which is pretty insane, really. Thinking about it, that's pretty insane. Mr. Mega. I love Humbling Bundle. It just leads to so many runs just popping off. Doubled consumables all the way through, including money, is just insane. These guys, like, pop up and in period is, like, so annoying. So hard to deal with. You had to spawn one of those, didn't you? Do that. Use heck off. Oop, more money. And, like, it literally, we get enough money for the shop every single floor. We had enough to start at this floor with some with a shop purchase. And we're going to have another shop purchase. I don't think there was a reroll machine, but still, we have another one for the next floor. There you go, Varma's got our active item charged up as well. You got the spiders over here. Stop crawling away from me. You sell you sack of shit. You sack of shit. These enemies are gonna be annoying. Luckily they'll die fairly quick though. The balls that they fire that's the worst. Stop jumping closer. Ooh, item. See, now. Now. I'm going to take this. It might not lower our tears at all. But if it does, it'll be insane. What? We just got soy milk level tear rate. Soy milk level tear rate with full damage. My god, this is powerful. Bear in mind, when you normally pick up soy milk, you have around 1.1 damage. We've got 3.72, and it can still go higher. This is pretty insane. This is pretty insane. And we just got piercing. To add to it all, we just got fecking piercing. Wow, we, this is a good run. Like, I'm not going to take Brimstone or Mum's Knife if I get either of those in the in the boss rush. Not boss rush, in Deal the Devil. Just because it will effectively sort of ruin the cool fire rate stuff we've got going on with this run. And I do not want to do that. Um, we'll just play it as is. The fu oh. Basically, now that we have piercing, we don't have to deal with the knockback at all. Which is the most pressing thing about this. Like, the worst thing about it is the knockback. I'll take that after if I need to. Give me that. Give me that. Pow, pow. <laughs> Back up to full. And we got pretty decent speed now. Pretty decent speed. And flight, obviously. And we just got a second guppies item. Cares of darkness. I do not care about cares of darkness. Who do you think I am? Oh, my God. The fire rate is insane. Ow, I made him eat a bomb and then hit myself with it. Nice. Takes real skill to do that. Real skill. Oh boy. That's what I call a payout. Getting the uh, mum's key for better chests. Plus humbling bundle. Is a combo of the gods. It really is. Thank you for opening a secret room for me. <laughs> you want my nail. How about you get fucked? How about you take your little pecker and chip it up your own bum? 
because the nail is mine and I'm not giving it to anyone. This is my big beefy nail. I am going to get hit by that. That is a fact. Wow. Wow. That's a real good room, that. One fucking sack. One little sack boy. But don't worry, guys. All our health is about to come flooding back to us. Thank you, HP. We're back to full. <laughs> God damn. Car battery is one of my favourite shop items. It just leads to such insanity. Every time. Wowie. Well, we just got Libra. Now, Libra balances stats. Technically, that would mean we get a much worse fire rate, but much higher damage. Honestly, it's good with soy milk, but I think what we've got going on now with the damage we're at and the fire rate we're at is too good to pass up on. Okay, Greed. Okay, Boomer. Got him. Got him. Brrr. Gotcha. And you hold... Lots of money. Look how much money we're on already. The chests are just out of control. They're too good, man. They're too good. And because we got Guppy's tail, we're just getting chests like after every room is the reward. Got you two. Eh, excuse me. We need a little bit higher range, actually. Range is holding us back a little bit. Oh my god. The consumables, boy. Damn, boy. She's thick. What was that guy? That guy was a dull boy. His face was hollow. Give us a damage up in this deal with the devil and I'll, I will kiss my own feet. So we're going down. Yay. That's not a damage up. That's just health we don't need. Thanks, game. Unfortunately, no boss rush for us. I bet we missed it by, like, the smallest of margins as well, didn't we? Okay, we have enough to be doing this. Considering we're going get, to be getting this many keys out of it. Seems like a healthy decision. Apparently, we only got one play on it, though, so... Not particularly great for us. These enemies I don't particularly like either. They take a little bit too long to pop out. Sometimes they don't. Other times they do. And it's just... He's just waiting around for them to jump all over the place until you can actually attack them. Because they don't deal any damage at all, really, so it's just a lot of waiting around in the end of it. This could, and maybe is, a very good run to do uh, Delirium. I don't think we've done Delirium as Eden yet, so... Definitely seems like one where we could. Oh my god, he actually hit me. Red chest... You just don't know, no. God damn, give me items, Red Chest. Give me Guppy. That's, that would, that would make this run wacky. Actually wacky. That's not going to help us at all, Dimbold, so I'm not, I'm not going to go for that. Haha. -ha. You think you're all cool, don't you? Well, you're not, you only hit me once. Range up, that's actually something I wanted, so thank you. Um... This guy's actually pretty decent for us right now. I'll go for that. We'll every now and again be firing extra shots because if we fire through interdimensional baby, it gives us like double damage shots. And it won't happen super often, but it'll be often enough to make it worth it, especially considering we have BFF, which gives him a larger hitbox. Got some piss kidneys on the floor there. Yeah, the, the white one is pretty bad for us here. He can't be killed until all the other enemies in the room are killed. Which is kind of difficult. But we managed it. It does like the game when we shoot through him a little bit, though. But the extra damage. It's worth the lag. I don't want to lag for our life to be over. Look up. Look up. Love to see my look at almost five. Let's uh, just check here. Yeah, we do not have Delirium done. So, this is probably a better Delirium run than it is anything else. So, I'll probably go for Delirium here. 
That's the enemy I normally disable as well, because I think they look really weird. <laughs> no offense, but I think they, they definitely need a bit of a redesign. They don't feel they don't fit Isaac, in my opinion, really. They look a little a little too spangly and, a, and like they're kind of a bit too flirty for Isaac. Ah! They're kind of cool, but they just don't fit the game as well. Got that done. And that up. Eh, no, no, no. Ow, walk into that guy. That would be pretty damn good. Gotta tell you, that would be very good, but we do not have explosion immunity. So that would probably be a nightmare. But I do I do imagine that firing that many that many bombs that fast would be quite fun. If we had explosion immunity, we do have Mr. Mega as well, so. Would be a good shout, but. Without explosion immunity, it's certain death. Come here, little jumpy jumpies. Little pinny. Oh, we got a pill. I didn't even mean to pick up. It just intruded my personal space. And jaw down. What about you? There you go. We'll get, we'll get a shop here as well. I've got to remember that. And this, this little heart here should be going down, 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 down. There you go. Keep getting hit by the odd shot. Right, you, you do have Brimstone. Blood Earth. Um, the first enemy damaged in the room will be linked with other, uh, with the player in Blood Earth. Link the enemy's grants player damage and speed buff, the less it health it has. Yeah, that, that seems a bit dangerous for me. And Brimstone would ruin this, so I'm not going to go for that. Because we'd have to fire laser beams. Although we'd be able to fire them incredibly fast, it would not be as fun. So it's an odd time where I'm skipping out on Brimstone. It happens every now and again. <gasps> That's brilliant. That's going to up our damage by a lot. Yep, there you go. Close to doubling it. It was a good get. Yet another brilliant item. Another brilliant item that I just don't think works with this run. That, however, is amazing. Wowee, that's going to be good. Champion belt's good. This is this is going to be pretty good. Going to be pretty thirsty. So... Yeah, I might as well take that. Uh, let's 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 do some bombing. We can find our crawl space. No, no, no. Be in this room then. I think this guaranteed there's always one. Maybe not. Nope. It is not guaranteed, apparently. Right, let's do this. I'll take that in with me. I don't know what it does, but I'll take it in with me. Explosivo is going to be mental. We're going to be, like, landing so many of those. We're just going to be blowing up like crazy. Absolutely like crazy. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's just going to be explosion after explosion after explosion. Just sit behind our dude. Wow. How you feeling now, delirium? Not delirium. Hush. Feeling good about this? Haha. -ha -ha. Yeah, Tech X and Brimstone would have made this like quite powerful. But this is just more fun. A weird a wackier setup. But I just think it's more interesting. You gonna pop up, dude? Anytime now. There you go. Have a few of these stuck to your body. 
Whoa, that visual effect looks great. Imagine if we had shielded tears now. If we had shielded tears, nothing would be able to touch us, like, ever. Wow, the damage we're doing is insane. It's so good. Little laggy. Little laggy. It seems like the longer we stay in fights, the laggier it gets. Just a problem with Isaac modding in general, though. I mean, a lot of games have it, but Isaac especially has problems with it. There you go. Get the doubled shots going. You just sit and chill while the explosions do the work. I mean, our shots are also dealing damage, too. The explosions are doing a lot of it. There you go. Take some of that. Oh, he keeps going underground. You can't just hide underground for the rest of your life. It's not fair. This isn't Bunker Wars. Ow. Come on, dude. Stop. Stop hiding. You can't hide from the truth forever. And the truth is that you're going to die. Oh shit, he's doing this thing. You can definitely tell it's in slow-mo right now, because I can't get away from these beams. I literally cannot get away from those beams. Oh shit, he's spawned his boys. Let's hear it for the boys. Our health's actually ridiculously low right now. Okay, I think we got him. There you go. He's done for. Here I come, delirium. So as long as we can get a decent amount of charges here before we go in, and I'd ideally like to get up to max HP and go in with two extra charges, that'd be really good. Cast the unknown. So that's a little annoying for this floor. A little bit annoying. We can deal with it though. This is a perfect room. Do not kill the king guy. Just kill all the battery-powered guys. Damn it, it's not working. Normally when you got one of those king guys, everyone else, like, drops batteries. Not happening, though. Come on. Where's this little fucker? Ah, uh, His enemies are so annoying. Damn it, no batteries. Little baggy. Damn. No more cards for us, then. That was good. Not that we were using cards anyways, but still. Still annoying to get. Basically just looking for HP now, so... I don't really care what else comes up. Gotta be careful in this room, because these, these enemies are really annoying. The only thing is about, about Explosivo. Fighting normal enemies is a little more difficult, because the explosive shots don't d deal actual damage. And so enemies do tend to last a little bit longer in general. It's not ridiculously longer, but still it can happen where the enemy lasts longer than he should. Because the Explosivo shots hit them loads. But there is still plenty of normal shots mixed in there as well. This could be it. One of these could be our boy. What are you doing, fella? Loki. So. Up, Lokesters. That's very good. If we could see any uh, items, but we can't. Just realized. Frail. GB bug. We had that last time. It's the mama of Mega. Wow, the explosions hit. And they hit hard. Gimpy's quite nice. Getting hit can sometimes spawn HP. Didn't give him the excuse to get hit, though. Go away, troll bombs. You're everywhere. I don't want anything to do with you. I do not want anything to do with you, troll bombs. Got that guy. Oh, lots of gerdies. They drop soul hearts, though, don't they? One at the end. Maybe. I did just lose a soul heart, though, so... It's not exactly a net gain. Good, good. Let's see now. I'm, I'm, I'm like glad that we can see our map, though. 
Not being able to see our map would be the worst on this floor. An absolute maze up in this bitch. Wow, he makes a horrible noise. We've got a one-up as well from our money. I I'm actually kind of horrified that the one-up thing actually spends the 99 cents to give you a one-up. That's, that's kind of annoying, but I suppose it's an extra life. Not like we need the money now. More luck. It's always good. Luck is very good. These enemies are the worst ever. Just gotta sit and wait and chill until they do something. It's really fun. Really, really fun combat this. Great design. <sighs> Should go make like some food or something while I wait, I guess. There you go. Finally, my god. Absolute huge waste of time fighting those guys. Right, now I'm not going to use the nail anymore. If I get any more charges, I'm going to save them for the boss. And then as soon as I get hit twice, I use I use a charge. Did you get hit there, though? That's not... Okay, I will use it one more time now because I've been hit twice. Three times. What the fuck? Four times? What the hell is going on here? Keyboom. Yay. Of course. Of course. Now that we're on low HP, now that I've been hit a bunch of times, let's get Delirium in here. And I have just realized something quite horrific. We have Explosivo, which is only good for enemies that do not teleport. This guy teleports a hell of a lot. If the things stick to him when he teleports, it's pretty good. But I don't think they will. Okay, they do sometimes. Just not always. Cool. Oh, thank you, Gimpy. Speed up red pill. That was that was rather nice to see. Hello. Oh my god. Scared the shit out of me. Remember, this guy can just randomly explode on us as well. We've got plenty of lives to go at this with. We can't... We, we don't know our HP ever, so... And this is going to get, like, progressively more laggy as we as we progress through this fight as well. So that's nice to know. Eventually, we're just not going to be able to tell what the fuck's going on. We're doing really good damage, though. Really good damage. We're making good time on the kills. Damn you, Brimstone. Damn you, laser beams. Damn you, another laser beam. What is going on? I can hardly move. The fuck? Stop it, heart. What the fuck is going on? How am I to dodge half the shit? Oh my god. Like, literally, this has to be the most poorly designed boss in any video game ever. Like, I, I I appreciate the difficulty of the fight, and I kind of appreciate that at the, at the point of this being created, the game was in, like, the end of its life cycle, but this is not a good design boss. It's just spewing out shit, telefragging, random explosions, t changing form and teleporting all over the place. It's like, what the fuck is this? Why? Why would this... Why? No. And it's like, oh yeah, do you know what we'll also do? We'll make it unbeatably fast. Thank God. I thought I was going to die there. There you go, there. Another one of these bad boys defeated. With Eden of all the boys. Do it for the boys. Unlocked Eden's soul. Nice one. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a kind of stressful run there. But either way, I will see you guys in the next one.